Before this video starts, I just want to give a huge thanks to everyone that gave me support on the last video. I got so many kind words and congratulations about my engagement. Honestly, I couldn't be happier, so thank you guys so much for the support, and I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Six Shadows, back at it again with the solo survival on the MTS servers. Uh, now, in the last video, I just want to clear something up. I did say quite a few times that it was going to be a duo series with Montage. Uh, he ended up doing his own thing, playing with a different tribe. I'm just going to end up doing a solo series. I wrote it in the comments of the last video, but I'm guessing a lot of people didn't see it. Solo for the time being, we'll see how far we get before we get wiped. Yeah, I'm going to have to play quite a bit to keep up with everyone, so we'll see if I can manage that. Uh, I just released episode 1 now, so I just started recording episode 2. I'm going to have to farm up a whole bunch of metal, get a few more turrets down because the base is not really secure at the moment. Uh, so that's kind of the plan for right now. Just farm up a bunch of metal, electronics, all the stuff that I need for uh, turrets, bullets, all of that kind of stuff. All right, so I did a pretty decent metal run, guys. Each forge has, I believe, 750 metal in it. I still need the wood. Uh, I'm working on making this chainsaw here. I got this blueprint from a drop. I'm just missing like 30 ingots and then we'll start getting crazy amounts of wood with the chainsaw. Now, I also remembered that I forgot to put down the actual ORP system. Uh, so, when I logged out after episode 1, I didn't actually have this placed, which means my structures would have taken the normal amount of damage when I was offline. So, thankfully, I decided to log back in after that episode went out and put this thing down. Otherwise, probably would have woken up to no base. I would like to level up. I was kind of relying on Muntage to be close to level 100 and make the heavies. I might just have to get a grinder and grind out XP. Uh, it's pretty slow, but there are Explorer Notes on Scorch, so we could do a note run and then start grinding shit out. Uh, I don't know. I have to think about it. For now, though, I'm going to go farm a bunch of wood, and we'll cut back to once we decide what to do next. All right, guys, so I wanted to stop in with a quick little update. So I'm still grinding towards the turrets and the bullets. Uh, all of the forges have a 1,000 wood in them, uh, a bunch of metal. I think it was 750 metal. I did a poly run, so I got polymer. I got chitin as well from the Mantis, so that's in here. I'm about to start crafting up some cementing paste. I think we can make like close to 400, 360, uh, which is pretty fucking good. I think the only other thing we're really lacking is pearls. Uh, so we're going to go on a pearl run now. Uh, pretty much you just go down to the water around here and just whip up the pearls. I'm sure everyone's seen it before. It's nothing new. Yeah, whip up the pearls, try not to die to capros. And then after that, we should have a bunch more turrets. Hoping to get like maybe 15 or something like that and then get as many bullets as we can and then I'll go to bed. Alright, let's fucking do it. Let's see how many turrets we can actually make. Uh, we only managed to get six. I think we're still waiting on the metal. Okay, yeah, so we're definitely out of metal. We still have a bunch of pace to go and we got more electronics. Uh, so after more metal smelts up, we'll be able to make a few more turrets. Alright, so we chucked all the turrets down. Uh, it's a little bit weird, the layout that I've got going on. I should probably... Uh, change that. I don't know. The base is kind of small to be honest. I thought it was going to be a lot better So I might have to move the base later on uh, for now though I think I'm just gonna keep farming the shit out of metal. That's pretty much all that I need is just metal 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 uh, So yeah, I'll probably just do that for a couple of hours I guess there's nothing else I can really do just keep on farming keep on grinding and we'll see what happens next All right guys, so we're back um, It's the next day now and I woke up to my body falling through the mesh uh, So I also had the RG cryoed uh, so if you don't know on this server if you vote for their server on like a website uh, they give you a free cryopod. Uh, so I had my good RG cryoed and my body fell through the mesh. Uh, so I went out this way to kind of see if I could see it. Uh, so there it is. That that beam right there is my body and it's inside the mountain, like under the mesh. I also don't have the chitin or the hide in my base ready to make a new RG saddle. So I'm, I'm kind of fucked. So I'm on foot. I don't have any metal. I don't have any wood. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run out to the desert. Uh, I'm going to have to farm some chitin. I bring the Anki in a cryopod. I'm going to have to use that to kill the shit and then harvest it with this wooden hatchet that I have. Uh, so yeah, real big struggle right now. Struggle town. So I'm going to have to run all the way to the desert. I'm going to cut back to once that's done because it sounds really boring. So this one is pure damage. Uh, it's 684 damage. So it's not going to be very good for farming. I don't really want to ruin it and make it like a hybrid one either. I want to actually get a close up of the beam. I wasn't actually able to fly up here before. Oh, okay. Never mind. Scratch that, guys. Uh, so my body is actually just randomly up here. I guess it just poured it above my cave. So there you go. That's all my stuff. Got my RG back. So thank fucking God for that. So yeah, back to farming, I guess. Back to the grind. Now, I do want to get wyverns, guys. I also want to move the base somewhere a little bigger. Uh, I thought this was going to be good. I mean, it's a decent starter base. Can't I can't argue that. But like, we're running out of space already. And if I want to get wyverns going for defense, I'm going to need somewhere to store them. So I might look for somewhere bigger than this, probably on top of a pillar or something. I'm not too sure. Either way, first things first, we're going to farm up a bunch more metal, a bunch more turrets. 
and I'm probably going to grind it today as well and just start pumping out the XP. Uh, so I farmed up a bunch of metal. We got 2,500 ingots in each forge. We're going to light those up right now, get those smelting. Uh, it's also going to give us a decent amount of charcoal. We got about 800 in each and another 1,000 on the way. Uh, I farmed up the crystal required for the grinder, so I got 2,000 crystal. I don't know what else I actually need for it. Uh, so the oil will just fly out to the pumps. The paste and the poly is pretty easy. We'll just have to go kill some mantis. I have decided that I definitely do want to level up today, so that's going to be a large part of it. I'm just going to place the grinder down, grind the fuck out of stone for, I don't know, a couple hours and try and hit as high a level as I can. Uh, I really want the chem bench. I really want the industrial forge. Pretty much just want everything that I don't have already. Uh, everything that just makes the game a little bit easier. So we're back again. The last update before we get the grinder down. Uh, so we are closing on everything we need. Uh, all we need is the metal. Uh, I think we might even have that. I'm not too sure. Uh, I'm missing a bit of paste, which is crafting here in the mortar and pestle. So what I decided to do next is go get a Dodicarus. Uh, because there's no way I'm going to be farming stone with an Anki. It's just way too slow. Uh, so I'm making Trank Arrows up now. I'll kill myself real quick and then we'll go find ourselves a high level Dodicarus. Tame that up and then start grinding out our levels. So we got pretty lucky. Uh, we only had to find like three or four Dodicaruses and then we found this level 150. Uh, we'll tame this guy up. I think he takes like more than an hour. So we'll just keep on grinding in the meantime. Farm up some more metal or something like that. Just a whole bunch of grinding really to make sure the base is secure in the early game. Alright, so I found a decent spot to trank him out. We're just below the base, so he should be safe up here. Alright, there we go. Dodicarus is down. Uh, we'll check the stats. I'm pretty sure the damage doesn't actually matter for solo farming anyway. You pretty much want weight. You just max it out on weight so you can get as much stone as you can. Uh, either way, we'll chuck the berries in and we'll cut back later on because, as I said, very long tame that one is. All right, let's go, guys. Time to whip up this grinder. Uh, the Dodicarus is also tamed as well. So we'll craft that up. We'll go get the Doed. And uh, we're all good to start grinding at our levels. I don't know if I want to put the grinder up there at that base. We're kind of out of space. All right, so let's find somewhere to place down this grinder. Preferably over here, like inside the wall. Maybe here, if it fits. All right, fuck it, guys. That'll do. It's not ideal, but we can always pick it up, right? Because it's S+. Plus. I'm pretty sure you can always pick up S+. Plus shit. Uh, so it doesn't matter for now. We'll just throw it down. I want to start farming the levels. Um, that took way too long to decide where to actually put that. Uh, so that'll do. Let's go ahead and start grinding on the Dodicarus. Probably going to take a while. So I farmed up as much stone as I can be bothered farming, guys. If I had to farm any more stone, I'd probably throw up. So I got 58,000 stone, I believe. Uh, and if I calculated it right, which I probably didn't, it should be enough to get me to level 86, um, which is good. I don't know what you get at level 86. Let's take a quick look. Uh, as long as I get my chem bench, I don't really care. 86, you get night vision goggles, so whatever. We get the chem bench, we get the indie forge, which is all that I wanted um, for now anyway. I obviously want heavy turrets. Uh, so we'll grind that up. I might pick up some explorer notes, and then that way I'll end up higher level than what I calculated. I think there was a four times explorer note pretty close by, so I might grab that and then start the grinding. As for the explorer note, this was the one I was talking about. Uh, these are new, I think. They weren't around last time I played, but they are around now, so we'll grab this one real quick. There we go. It looks cool. So we got quadruple XP. All right. So I'll see you guys later. Let's get this grinding. I am getting insane amounts of XP. I can actually visibly see the XP bar going up from just grinding Flint. Uh, that's pretty rare. Usually it gives you like two XP from what I remember. I'm getting close to 200 XP per Flint. Uh, so we're going to be a pretty high level. Anyway, let's cut back to once that's done. All right, guys. So that quadruple xp thing is fucking amazing uh so i think i'm just going to stop grinding what i'm grinding now once the xp expires and then go out and get another one of these notes that is actually insane so i've already hit level 85 and if you remember i started with i think i said 50,000 stone i've got 46,000 left so i barely even used any and i've already gotten did i get 10 levels i think i got 10 levels already uh, so I think I'm going to go out, grab another note, and then just start grinding again. Now, I have no idea where they are, especially on Scorch, so I'm going to look up a map. All right, so I almost gave up hope, guys. As you can see, I've been stacking up the two times notes uh, because I just couldn't find one of the four times ones. I tried to Google a map of them, but I just couldn't find it. So I'm going to get this and then quickly fly back to base. Uh, so we've got a four times and a two times. Not sure if they stack. If they do, it's going to be fucking amazing. Uh, so let's take a look. Uh, looks like we're still getting 400 XP, so is that how much we're getting before, or were we getting 200 before? I don't even remember. It looks quite a bit faster than it did before, so I'm pretty sure they're stacking. 
uh, which is just crazy. This is really fucking strong. All right, ding, ding, motherfuckers. There we go, level 100. What a long journey it has been, uh, but it was definitely worth it. So we have unlocked heavy turrets, which is what I wanted to do eventually. Didn't think I was going to do it all in one sitting, but I did. Let me quickly cancel the leftover stuff. So we've got a bit of stone left. Um, so that's how much flint we ended up making. I haven't taken any of it out. So we got like close to 60,000 flint ready to go. Uh, it took quite a long time. Um, at least three hours, I'd say probably more. I went and got pretty much every explorer note on Scorched Earth. I even went into single player to look for more of the, um, the four times XP ones. Couldn't find any. So I'm pretty sure there's only four of them on the map. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah, we finally unlocked heavies. We're gonna be a lot more secure tonight uh, So it's actually really cheap to make a chem bench. All we're really missing is 100 120 uh, crystal or so so we can easily get that we'll get a chem bench uh, And then we'll make the gunpowder and stuff in there instead of wasting it here uh, So let me get the Yankee out and we'll go do that after the sandstorm. All right, let's do this uh, Make ourselves up the chemistry bench. Uh, thank God. I did this before making all the gunpowder in the uh, mortar and pestle would have been pretty depressing. I think it actually makes more and it makes it so much faster. Uh, so we'll chuck this down wherever. It's S plus so we can pick it up later. Yeah, that's so fucking quick. Uh, so we'll make that up. We'll make up the gunpowder and I guess we'll make up the heavies as well if we can. Uh, what do we actually need for it? So 200 electronics, 150 paste, uh, metal, poly, and just turrets. I'm pretty sure we can actually make a decent amount. I'm going to have to go and farm pearls, but it's probably going to be worth it, honestly. Uh, as for the metal, we'll see how much we got left. This is all from what I farmed earlier. I haven't farmed any more since then, uh, but it should all be done smelting. Yep, there we go. Uh, so we got 5.3k metal. Um, we should be able to make quite a few heavies, honestly. I just got to go out, farm pearls. All right, guys, and we're back. So we grinded up a whole lot more. We did a massive pearl run. Not really massive, but it's pretty big. I uh, ended up making 800 electronics, which is enough for four heavy turrets. Now I have the pearls to make a bunch more, but I just wanted to make sure I had the metal left over to make bullets. So I turned all my charcoal into gunpowder. We got a pretty decent amount over here. So we'll move that into the fabricator as well. So we've got just over 13,000. First things first, we'll make the four heavies and then we'll make as many bullets as we can. Uh, we'll place those down. And what I'm gonna do is kind of seal up the base uh, with no entrance at all, just kind of wall myself in for the night. Let the ORP kind of protect me for the night. Cause uh, as I said, makes your structure stronger. So I should be able to safely log out for the night with a couple heavy turrets. Uh, especially because there's no Quetzals on Scorched Earth. Uh, so no one can really lift up a Stego or anything up to this base spot. I made some pretty big progress today, if I do say so myself. It's probably the most arc I've played in a long time. Usually I'm pretty lazy. I'm happy with the progress I made today. So I'll make as many bullets as we can as well. Uh, so I'll show you guys my plan. Pretty much I'm going to cryo my four dinos. I should be able to get two more cryopods. As I said earlier, you get them from voting on the server like on a server website voting for it to be number one and stuff like that. Uh, and then I'm just going to place some large walls down and kind of wall myself in. It has 40,000 HP. Uh, so when I'm offline, that's going to be a lot higher to go. I'll place these ones down. We do have a shitload of ammo now. Let me just quickly show you guys. I was working with about 20 bullets, 20 to 30 bullets per turret on the 10 turrets that I did have on the base. And now we have like, I didn't actually check. A lot. <laughs> we have a lot more than that. Uh, so we got just over 3,000 bullets at the moment. So a hell of a lot better than where we were before. Uh, so we just whack down the heavies. It's not really going to matter. It's only until I log back in tomorrow. But for now, I'm very happy with the progress. It was a very grindy episode and it took me a long time to accomplish this. We did it in the end, so that's good. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying earlier, this is probably the most arc I've played in a long time. Usually when I start a series, I do the bare minimum to get an episode out. I'm not going to lie to you guys, I'm a very lazy fucking person. Uh, but because I'm solo, I don't know, I kind of feel motivated. It kind of reminds me of like the old days when I used to do a solo series. Uh, and going at my own pace, doing whatever I want, getting all the content myself. It's kind of fun. It's good to be back, guys. So yeah, I hope you guys can see the effort I'm putting in. I am trying to get consistent uploads in. So hopefully tomorrow is more of a chill day and I don't need to spend hours grinding. Uh, but I will farm a bunch of metal. We'll get the wyverns going and I don't know, we'll probably get an indie forge at the start of the episode. Uh, start farming up shitloads of metal. It should be good. Uh, but that's the end of today's episode. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. Uh, if you did, please like the video. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching guys. End of the video. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Whoops. Whoops.